1,000 ounces was mined by hand just a few hundred meters downstream from my site on what was known as Bray's Bar. So that's Bray's Bar. Yeah. Which is one of the most famously known. Found some good stuff on Bray's Bar? Probably around a thousand ounces on Bray's Bar. Now just upstream from that, at that grouping of trees right there, that's called Georgina Bar. Again, hundreds, if not thousands of ounces was extracted right on the creek by hand work methods only. Just at the top side of my site is a hydraulic pit from the 1930s called the Starling Pit. More than $75,000 in gold was mined there, and that was when gold was around $30 an ounce. Wait until you see this. Now, to get my hands on maps like this, if not the only maps available, and these came directly from the original owners that I bought the claims off of. Look at the age of some of these. This map right here is the Holy Grail. This map here shows the original survey for the town site. But what's astonishing about this map is that it actually names all of the old famous benches and bars. You got Alberni Bar, the famous Bray's Bar, where more than a thousand ounces was found by hand. Georgina Bar, Bacon Bar. My mine site right now is between these two points. It stretches from Georgina Bar all the way to Bacon Bar. This area here at Bacon Bar is marked by a tributary creek. That's the tributary creek coming in right there. And this shows all of the 30s work that was done with the hydraulic mine. And then this is the stretch that I'm working right now. When I was just a young boy, I used to go into the local museum and I remember being absolutely awestruck by the mining exhibit. And I would spend as much time in there as I could because it was like an artificial mine shaft. But there was just something about the ambiance of the wood and the lantern lighting and the dark rocks and the thrill of finding gold or treasure. It just fascinated me. I would always stay there so long that my parents would have to come back and grab me. My entire life, I have been enthralled with finding things. There is nothing more exhilarating than the prospect of finding something valuable or rare. I don't know what it is, but it gives me goosebumps. I remember telling my parents and my friends and multiple times throughout my life, if I could do anything in this world, I would search for treasure. There it is, ready to go. So now, all the water manifold, all the lines off that that go up to the shaker deck, all need to be plumbed. So it's a mixture of fittings and hard lines. This is for the plumbing inside, the sprayer in the drum. And it comes from the manifold there and we'll get hooked up to there with a valve on it. Just so you can adjust the flow independently. I got the mini as well. I have to find a way to make a backup alarm on it and then it'll be to code. I could just use it here for everything. But when it comes to feeding the plant, th this excavator is just a bit big, like obviously. One more day and then I'll be ready to bring up the generator and the water pump and try it out for the first time and put a bit of gravel through it. That'll be so fun. Today, we're getting this trommel plumbed once and for all. It's minus four. I think I brought everything I need. Tomorrow, we plan to test it out, no matter what. These valves, cam lock, elbow. It's time to get it all put together. Standard pipe thread to household hose. This threaded section there appears to have ovaled I guess when I was welding it or something like that. I'm having a lot of trouble getting that valve on. It's 
coming together. I love the look of it with the different colored parts on it. Look at this ominous sky. Bought a pressure valve for fun. Figured why not? This will probably last for years. I highly doubt it. It's probably gonna rust and clog or jam up with stuff. It's always just interesting to know. Hey, little buddy. That little bird is so cool. Is this always around? In the gold. There it is. Set it and forget it. Moving on. Next, this is for the end cap for the sprayer inside the trommel. Okay. Every little bit I get done feels amazing because it's like the next step is just that much quicker that much easier man i wish i could get that one last ball valve on still snowing this is the perfect example of the kind of things that can go wrong and waste a whole day the snow sure makes it cool i have to figure out how to get it on here it's slightly oval. I'm gonna have to crawl in there and hit it with something. I might have to bring a clamp. This had a bit of a bigger gap back here and I filled it with weld. It uh, warped it. It made it like an oval now this way. Ah, let it rain. No go on that today. It's got a bit of welding spatter on it. Oh no, that's not the right size. I need another reducer. Reducer. Those uh, three inch lines are so stiff. That short little one, I had to heat the entire thing. You can see all the burn marks all over it. That's ridiculous. That's what I get for buying the cheap pipe. Uh, I need a few valves, an adapter, a couple more little things, and I'll have it buttoned up tomorrow. So I'm out of here. heading up to put the last hoses on the trommel. It's always an adventure coming back to the claim. Oh, that is not good. Jeepers. Welcome back. It is bright and cold out here today. We had snow last night. Let's get this stuff buttoned up. This guy, I bought a clamp yesterday, just a brand new C clamp. It looks a lot more round when I got a bit of pressure on it. I was able to tighten the out of it and round it out a bit, and this thing just threaded right on. It's still tight. It's on a couple turns right now, so good to go. I'll just grab the big wrench and just cinch her down. There it is. What goes on there? One of these puppies, beautiful. Moving on. Progress. In order to step up to this, I needed to step up. Then that'll go on there. That is money. We're getting close. Really helps get it nice and soft. Oh, that's a money. No! This thing just works so good. Pretty straightforward. Beautiful. Come on, baby. Heat that end up till it lights on fire. Get her situated. Like it's on there. You don't even have to use a clamp now. That dripping water adds striker. All right, thank you. Here we go, here I go, here I go again, girl. This is just how you actually drain the nuggets into your pan. <laughs> drain the nuggets. I actually just broke this screwdriver. You don't run on the mine, especially not with a screwdriver. <clears throat> It's so easy to fall, it's not even funny. Here's the valve to control it. And then it runs off to the T. From the T, splits up to charge the nugget trap. There's the nugget trap. Last thing is to run and build the new lines that go to these. They're quick release on cam locks. Starting to get to the point where I could actually envision some gravel going through this. It's 
snowed in, but not snowed out. Love it. I can have coffee when I'm sleeping. Catch that. Dang. Woo, that is a lot of sh ah. Boom. I stretched out these big white ones. Now they're just buried. Loving every minute of it. Okay, I think I'm just gonna start by doing this. We just gotta get doing this. Come on. Oh. Money. Let's keep this train rolling. A little on the inside. Oh, come on. Trying to dry. Line up. Next. Okay, line up. Okay, let's get her done, boys. Boom. Boom, boom, done. Oh, he got driven over. Oh, no. Oh, it's a tough job. I think I wrecked it. Gosh, am I hard on my stuff. A little bit of dirt really makes it, um, it's a lot nicer to work with. And uh, if you can get some snow and other in your hands, it, uh, it really increases the value of what I'm doing here. There it is. Because there is nothing like the discomfort of dirt mixed with snow. These are excellent situations. Oh, it's, that's exactly where I was hoping that was. 